Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I put together, together these cards using a gel press for the background and stamping with some stamps from Heffy Doodle and then finishing off with some Nouveau embellishments. So Ranger with Diane Reevely and Dina Wakely paired, partnered with Gel Press to come up with two Gel Press sets. So this set here includes a three inch circle, a three and a half by six and three quarter inch rectangle, and then a five and a half by 11 inch large rectangle. The other set is just one large gel press, which is great for, I'll show you other techniques later with those. Now, it does not come in this tin. However, you can purchase the tin separately. And I love that, that I can just store these in a tin. It makes it really easy to keep them out of the way. So for this card, I am using the little three inch circle gel press. So I'm going to remove it from both sides of uh, the plastic and you can see it's nice and flimsy. It's, I'd say about three quarter inch thick um, piece of little gel. And that is what we're going to be using today. Then I'm going to be using um, some distress paints. So in my sample, I'd use the blue, but this time I'm going to use a yellow, orange, and pink. Now I just put the paint directly onto um, my press. You put it on and then just roll it a little. bit of orange. You don't want too much paint because a little paint here goes a far way. And I'm going to put a bit of pink. Then I'm going to pick it up and I have my card and this is just, oops, I had some paint on my hands. You wanna watch that, you don't wanna get paint on your project. But this is just a basic card. Um, it's no fancy paper. Now you could even put this on a stamp thing. It might be beneficial, make it easier to pick it up. So I'm just going to Stamp it down, you can sort of see there. And then remove it. And you get a fun little circle. I'm gonna put it aside. I'm actually gonna put it back on one of this to make it easier to pick it up. Then I'm going to take another card. Um, I'm just going to leave it with the amount that is there already. I'm not gonna put more on. and stamp it down and I can move it around a little. This one's going to have a few more white spots, which is fine. And then I can, I have paint on my uh, brayer still. I can put more paint down. So it's good to have a few cards handy when you're doing this because you can get a few prints from the one thing. So I'm going to Stamp it down again. And when I'm stamping, I'm stamping upper, leaving a little bit below. Sort of in the two thirds of the card, leaving the bottom third. So that one's really pretty. And I can do one more. pretty too, I like that. I, so if you look at, say, the first one to the last one, I'm actually really liking the last one more than the first one, just because the colors are more blended and it's a more interesting 
texture going on. I'm going to put those aside and then what you can do is grab your art journal, open to some random page. I don't actually have that much ink left on my my um, press but you can just stamp it off like that if you want to clean it and then as well with your brayer I can just sort of roll it to clean the paint off and that blue was there from a previous thing. So that's the best way to clean your items is if you have an art journal then I already have some ink on a base of a page. So that is how we do the base. I need to dry these quickly and then we will stamp on top of them. So now it's time to move on to the stamping. And I have two stamp sets here from Heffy Doodle. This one's called Excellent News and this one is What You Saying. And I, when I was trying to figure out what to do with this, you'll notice that the stamps are very small. So that's why I had decided if I started with a focal point, it would already draw you into that little area um, so the stamp doesn't get lost on the page. So that's why I decided to do the circle background. So I'm going to use, um, I'll use this little rooster guy again. And I'm going to use a saying. So maybe, let's see. Last time I used just saying hi and hello, my friend. And so this time I think I'm going to do happy birthday to you. And you can see the little um, word phrases here goes both directions. So if he's here, then this is the side I need for the word phrase. Now for this, I'm going to use um, my stamp press from, or stamping platform from Tim Holtz. I have it on the clear side, you can see here. So I know it's the right side for my stamps. And I'll do it like this to make it easier. Now one reason I'm using my stamp press is because I am stamping on and acrylic paint. Now mine, because it was like the fourth one, it's quite smooth, but if you have any texture in there, sometimes um, your, your ink gets caught in the grooves. So this way when you use the stamp press, it will, um, you get the option of stamping it a couple times. So I like to position my stamps on my card so I have some idea of where they're going to go that. Then I So I am using archival ink because I am stamping over the paint. Archival is great. It will stamp over a lot of surfaces. Um, dye ink or pigment ink may not work the same over acrylic paint. So that's why I use archival ink for most of my stamping. So I inked it up, stamp it down, make sure it's there. And luckily for me, it worked the first time, so I don't need to re-stamp. So I'm gonna move those out of the way. Then I'm going to get my little word, happy birthday to you position it in there. This is a new stamp I haven't used yet, so it's a little stickier. I have a perfectly stamped card. So now I want to add on some embellishments. Now I just need my glue. I got my glue and I have my Nouveau Crystal Cloud Circles. 
it's like little confetti. Now these are great if you were doing shaker cards. You can hear them. They're cute little cut up confettis. However, you know, why pour a bunch in a shaker card when you can use them one at a time? <laughs> They're uh, really small. And the reason why I add them to my card, I'm just gonna put them to the side for now, is it forms what you may have heard before of that visual triangle. I'll show you in a second, there you go. I have the two elements with like the two stamps. So I have my bird and I have my words, but then there's this little zone here. And just by putting the three little um, confettis there, you have that visual triangle and it just makes the card feel more complete. You can see I have them all over myself. They're all over here. So, you know, I don't think they were designed to be used one at a time. To use them, what I like to do is just put a little bit of glue on my table and I use a pin. And what I'm gonna do is pick up some glue that's like way more than I'll ever need. I put some glue down and then I get my little confetti and put it on the glue and then with the other side of the pin and then I do that again. I try to put them sort of in an arc, not just um, in a line if I can. Even though I think that might sort of be a line, I'd have to move that one a little out. And the glue dries dries clear, but I like to just take a bit of that excess off with the back. And so there I have my completed card. You should be able to see the circles there. If you had um, a different color, that might contrast more. When I did the blue, they um, I did them closer together and it contrasted a little more. But there we have that completed card. And I just want to show you one other thing is with um, the circles, you can also use them just to doodle on. Here I doodled a couple flowers. So you don't have to just stamp on them. You can use circles for lots of different things. And that's our card using the gel press, the Heffy Doodle stamps, and some Nouveau confetti. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time Videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple other videos you might be interested in watching. See you next time. Bye bye.